Well, my beautiful friends, I apologize for all the loudness of the day, but I wanted to take you outside to show you these paintings, all dried and resined, and they are gorgeous. I'll show you them inside also. Just I wanted to get out here. I was hoping I would have a little sun to show you the interferences in the next one. Now this one here is sold. The first one is not. Uh, focus. And I have this sun today. It's very gloomy and doomy. This one is quite beautiful though. And here we are inside. Maybe uh be able to see it better here. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> This one is really, really pretty. Like the pink is all iridescent. It lights up. It's really pretty. But again, this one is sold. And then I have the other one available. And the circle Dutch pour I did with the iridescence, if you guys really want to see a good shot, of that out in the sun and what the colors really look like go over to my facebook group united we pour with tammy and lisa and you will see a video i posted of it in there because it truly is magical so there's that one so today what we are going to do is kind of all over the place so i'm going to put down some white paint I'm gonna put down some colors. I'm gonna blow a couple little blooms. I'm gonna to try to blow some white into those blooms to kind of shape the structure of the bloom. And then I'm gonna tilt it and see what happens. Um, this is a 10 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas level three. And the colors that I'm using today are Jasmine, Primary Elements, these colors are all primary element colors. Beautiful, vibrant pink. This is pink azalea. This one here is one of my favorite colors. It's called Passion. Okay. Then I have all five of the interference colors, which will look white right now to you. But when I give you the close-up, you will see them. So I have green, blue, blue red, gold, and violet. And then I have some tube paints to put in between to kind of balance the shimmer. So you want a little um, matte color to go along with the shiny colors so that there's a place for your eye to rest, okay? So for that, I have Thalo Turquoise. These are by Gold, that's by Golden. This is Bright Aqua Green by Liquitox. And then I have a fluorescent magenta by um, Blick and a fluorescent pink by Golden. And I'm going to be using black for my cell activator. So I'm going to clean all this up. I'm going to put down my white paint on my canvas first and then I'll be back. Before I do that, I'm in big trouble. I am a horrible, horrible mother when it comes to these paints. I forgot to mention Mr. Peacock Feather Primary Elements. Okay. Oh, 10 lashes with a wet noodle for me. Okay, so I have my white Walmart pillow paste, pillow paint down on the canvas. And the first color I want to put down is a nice dark color because when you use those interference colors, you want to have them on top of something that's dark because they show up a lot better. So I'm just going to put down 
a healthy portion of phthalo turquoise by golden. I swear, my neighborhood is quiet 24-7 until, well, not 24-7, obviously, until I press that record button. <laughs> and then people are chopping trees and, oh, buzzing all kinds of things. So, I do apologize. So, this right here is the Violet Interference. Now we're going to put that right there. So starting Monday, I'm going to start doing the lives. It's going to be somewhere between 7 and 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I can't give you an exact time, but if you're subscribed to my channel and you have your notification bell on all, then you will get the notification. So just... Try to watch out for that. We are going to do seven days of giveaways, people. We're going to try to cheer up the atmosphere because let me tell you something. What's going on is crazy. And I'm not going to get into it too much, but schools are closed around here. And it's really just crazy. Never seen anything like this in my lifetime. Okay, so that was the gold interference. Now I'm going to put down um, some of the peacock green. Go right through the middle. And the outer edges. Okay. Then I'm going to use, let's see, some of the tea, uh, bright aqua green. Okay. Then I'm going to use my red interference. Okay, and then now I'm going to start putting down the pinks. So I'm going to do this fluorescent magenta first. Then I'm going to put down some interference blue on top of that. Then let's see, we shall go with Passion. This is such a pretty color. And I'm going to go around the outer edge with that too. And then the green interference. So this will be the last interference color. I'll go right down center around the outside just kind of follow suit then I have let's see the pink azalea a lot of color a lot of color coming through here the jasmine this is just oh, I love this color I do have a coupon code below for 20% off no minimum order go to colorart.com use code Tammy Anderson art 120 to save 20% off 
you can find the primary elements and the blanket interference colors along with colors for resin and everything else. So now I'm going to put down my final color, which is the fluorescent pink. Okay. And we're going to pop some of those bubbles. They are really big, some of them, and those will mess up your pattern. If you're not comfortable with the torch, you can use a toothpick. Okay. So now I have my cell activator, which is carbon black by golden with American Floetrol and it's thick, but it runs off the stick. The measurements are one tablespoon of paint to three tablespoons of Floetrol. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to put this, um, oh, I burnt my paint. So see, this is a, a chance you take when you take a uh, torch to house paint because it's so much thicker. I'll show you this bubble right here, especially these bigger bubbles. Sometimes they will burn, but you don't see it in the fin finished piece. It's just a piece of gunk you got to pick out now. Okay. Let's see. No, nope, that's not one, but we do have a couple of bubbles here. Okay, so you gotta be really quick with that torch. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna put it right down the center. A really thick line of it because I have to have enough to blow it upwards and downwards. I might as well use it all up. Okay. All right, so here we go. Time to blow. Pretty little flowers. Whoopsie. <laughs> oh God. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm blowing it all over the place here. No worries. Woo! Lord have mercy on my soul. Okay, I'm going to turn that around a little bit. Or turn it around. Not a little bit. <laughs> okay. Make sure you're in view still. And here we go. very hard to blow like that you know not easy at all 
Now I have some tighter areas here and I don't want to mess up this pattern. So I'm going to get my little turkey baster end here. See, that doesn't blow white enough. I could use a blow dryer, but oh, do I want to? Yeah, let's do it a little bit. All right. It's a lot easier. <laughs> a lot easier. All right, so I'm going to let that sit for a second and wait for it to come back up. Let me just show you this really quick. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some white, although I don't know where I'm going to do this because every single area is beautiful. I want to take some white and push back a few of these areas, kind of cover it. to break it up. It's just, <laughs> the areas are all so pretty. It's hard for me to pick one. Okay. Go up in here. Okay, good enough. So now I'm going to tilt it around a little bit. Um, we're going to have to go off the edge there as much as I didn't want to do that. There's just way too much paint. Okay. 
I'm going to go nice and slow. Just a little bit that way. And then I'm going to come back. Come on. Oh, these interferences are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to leave it like that. I like the, the different kind of composition. We have the two ends opened up there. Um, this over here, I don't like in the corner right here. So what I will do is take some white and make believe like it never existed. See that? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Just when you do something like that, make sure your sides are all white too now because it'll look kind of funny if you have a white area there and the sides are colored. Sides matter, people. They do matter. If you want a nice looking piece of artwork, make sure those sides are nice and clean. If you tilt and you got weird paint on the sides, but the top has these white areas, just pour some white over your edges just like this to clear them up, okay? Believe me, your customers will be much happier with their painting if they have nice sides that look good. So let me give you a close up. Kind of cool structure. I don't like the just flower looking bloom. I like the cells that the bloom creates, but I don't like the bloom itself. And again, that's just my personal opinion. So here we are with the lights off. And now you'll see all the pretty interference and the sparkle in the colors. So I want to thank you all for joining me today. I want to thank you all for joining me on a weekly basis all this time. I truly appreciate all of you. I want you all to be safe and um, healthy in these upcoming weeks. So please be careful. I love you all. Check out the links in the description. Monday night, I will be starting the live giveaways Monday through Sunday of next week. And um, today's March 14th, just in case you're watching this video late. And also, um, you have to be a subscriber to take part. I will be verifying the winner to make sure they're a subscriber. So make sure you're subscribed. Um, I've been getting your emails regarding questions, my Q&A video, great, great questions coming in. If you missed that announcement, if you have any type of acrylic pouring question, resin art question, um, YouTube channel question, question about me. Somebody asked, can I, we ask questions about you? Of course you can. I'm an open book, baby. Um, email me, artbytammy at yahoo.com. Email me those questions. I'm going to compile them and answer them 
in a video for you. Okay? So, until next time, my friends, I love you all, and happy pouring.